So I'm just getting together my pre-workout meal. Um, mate Paul's back in town for the day, so I'm gonna hit a upper body session with him in a minute. Just getting some rice pudding, banana. Also had a protein shake as well, just something light before training. Pretty carb based. Um, yeah, so go have a good session. fun and you can have fun with your training and make it enjoyable. Lower is my youth and more does that leadership. Who's gonna take the two? Who's gonna slip in it? Look at my ID and with my race to live. Look at my ID and with my race to live. Lower is my youth and more does that leadership. Who's gonna take the two? So back home, evening clients done straight from one gym to the other um but a good session today and it's been a long time since i've trained with someone else um which i've really missed it's just a kind of psychological switch where you're sort of pushing yourself this little bit more getting some sort of different perspectives on things and um yeah it's good to have a different kind of kind of workout if um you train on your own a lot, you get sort of very sort of set in your ways um, and you can be a bit more sort of reserved in the sort of the weights you're using and things like that. So using a training partner can help you push yourself a little bit more. It can give a sort of a third person kind of perspective on your form, on sort of technique and things you might not necessarily notice and habits that you do. So if you do train on your own, I highly suggest every now and then sort of train with someone else, train some sort of different styles, um, or even film yourself so you can look back at some of your, sort of your techniques and assess where you could then look to progress with. So I've just made a nice little curry just to finish off my day. So just a short little vlog today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I'll catch you tomorrow. Who's got a slip in it? Look at my eye, 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 and with my race.